Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's life with mommy Yana Ashleyana. It's life with mommy Yana Ashleyana Church. Hey, friends, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Um, I'm at work, about to do a little question Q and A type thing that I was tagged by. Um, what is it? A hundred to life. A fat girl's journey tagged me to do these uh, questions. And so I'm at work in this conference room, so I'm kind of, you know, talking low because I don't want to distract nobody because people on that side working, people on that side working, and just people walking by. So, anywho, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are having an amazing uh, Wednesday. It's hump day down here, downhill from here, and yeah, so let me kind of do a thumbnail. That's it, and that should work. And I haven't ate, I got these, so have I had these sun chips? The um, garden salsa, these mugs go hard. And so this is gonna be my lunch, cause I get off at um, 2.30 today, cause Anaya has ADEC rehearsal, and so I have to pick her up and get her there to the high school. But it don't start till four or five. No, it don't start till 4, yeah. Because I wouldn't be getting off at 2.30 if it don't start till 5. So, yeah, it started at 4. So, the first question, do you collect anything? If so, what? That's going to be really quick. I don't collect nothing. I don't. I try to think, but I really don't. But I guess maybe I kind of do. Kind of. Um, I could say I collect, but I really don't. But I have a lot of body sprays that I don't use, and they just look cute sitting up there in the bathroom. But I don't really use them. I don't use them like that. Um, what is one thing that most people wouldn't know about you? Number two, what is one thing that most people wouldn't know about you? Um... That's a hard question, too. Oh, this black eye, y'all. I know y'all tired of me talking about it, but so annoying. I should have put some makeup on it. But I don't know. I'm pretty much an open book. I didn't used to be, but I'm just like, YOLO. So I kind of post everything on YouTube. So, mm. there's something that people don't know about me that I can't say yet but September 7th I'll let y'all know can't say yet but September 7th I will let y'all know so stay tuned number three what is one thing you wish you would have listened to from your parents or friends mm. <laughs> oh my god y'all in these questions as I was writing them down and stuff I was like oh, no, I don't have no answer for that but I'm gonna just try to answer it anyway so I'm gonna repeat the question number three what is one thing that you wish you would have listened to from your parents or friends um, for my parents, I have nothing. Um, for my friends, I don't really have friends like that. Not like that, but. Go to college for my friend. I guess. Number four. Do you think any kind of afterlife exists? If so, what? And like my friend said, that who tagged me in this, don't come for me in these comments. My answer is no. I don't think that it does. Um, just because I don't have any proof that it does. This is blurry. Yeah, I say that just because I don't have proof, you know? And I don't want proof. Don't get me wrong. I don't want proof. You know, leave me alone. Everybody leave me alone. Once you gone, leave me alone. I don't need no proof. You know, you at where you at. And that's that. <laughs> Number five. If you're granted a choice of superpowers, which would you choose? 
the power to stop time to make changes, or the ability to heal. I would say, gosh, that's a hard one. Um, ability to heal. I choose ability to heal because I just feel like you can help more people with that superpower. But you could also help so many if you stop time, you could stop terrorists, you could stop, you could stop, um, you know, car accidents, you could stop uh, mass shootings, you can stop a batch uh, marriage, you know, you could stop just so much, but I'm going to choose the power to heal because there's so many people out here that are sick and whether it be like chronic illnesses or, or not, you know, nobody should have to deal with illnesses, you know, their entire life and stuff like that. So especially kids, I feel like kids shouldn't have to be sick. So yes, the power to heal. Um, Number six, which would you choose? Which would you choose to be a billionaire but never know love or make fifty thousand dollars a year? If I chose make fifty thousand dollars a year, that's only about six thousand dollars more than what I make now, and I'm still struggling. Will six thousand dollars help me? Uh, I don't know. So, and then the the other option to be a billionaire but never know love is: Do they mean love from just like a dude, or could you you could your kids still love you? Because that's all I would care about. I think I would want to be a billionaire because fifty thousand dollars ain't nothing. Not with four kids. Yes, I would want to be a billionaire. I can love myself, and if I wanted to do, he ain't, he ain't gotta love me. I love I love me enough. Okay, number seven. If you could go back in time, what's one thing? No, if you could go back in time, what's one thing? Oh, not what's what. If you could go back in time, what's one thing would you have changed in your life? No brainer. Um, I know this one. I would have waited to have kids until I actually planned for them. But. You know, I love them. I'm so grateful for them, but they deserve so much more. They deserve a loving mother and a loving um, father in the same household. Um, they deserve just so many more opportunities that I could give them if I had planned for them and not had kids so young, didn't know what I was doing. Like, if I knew now, if I knew then what I know now, you know, they would be so much better off. We would be so much better off, you know. And so, yes, I would have waited to have children. Um, number eight, what's one moment in time that changed humanity would you change? Uh, when I saw this question, I wrote it down. The first thing I thought about was social media. The moment that it was created, um, everybody changed. I feel like that changed humanity, and it really did, in my opinion. Everybody is just so fake, and everybody is just trying to be somebody else and I don't know. I like people before social media, you know, people were just more real. Everything it wasn't for clout. You know, if you wanted to help somebody, you help them. It wasn't for likes. It wasn't for shares. It just wasn't for attention and stuff like that. Um, I just miss the old version of people. Number nine, if you could choose something in the creative field, what would it be? I don't know what the creative field is. And I meant to look that up, but I forgot. In the creative field. I don't know what that is, but I know that I'm not creative. Ooh, could it be like a hairstylist? Is that creative? I don't know, but I'm. that's gonna be my answer. I would like to know how to do hair. I struggle, and I have three girls, and poor them. They have to suffer because I can't do no hair. Oh, like, look at my wig. Like, look at my hair right here. And, yeah, I would just really like to know how to do hair so I can save money, too. And so we all won't have to walk around looking a hot mess. Okay, number 10. You're in a shopping complex, and someone needs help. Would you stop to help? 
in 2019? Probably not. I'm about my business because people crazy and they be plotting. You know, they probably don't need help be trying to get you to come over there and kill you and kidnap you. So I probably couldn't. Oh, that's because she called me. I'm like, why this thing telling me that it's about to stop the, my best friend just called? So, but I have it on Do Not Disturb, so it didn't stop my video. But yeah, so I probably wouldn't, y'all. Sorry, you know, if it was something that I can clearly see, you know, this is real, this person needs help, then I would. So, I know my answers are all over the place. I'm choosing both sides. <laughs> okay, last question. If you don't do daily vlogs, would you do vloggers? or vlogtober and i meant to look that up too because i don't know what that is but just um guessing from the name and i hope i said them right i think it could mean that you vlog all august or you vlog all october just by the name um but i'm not sure and if that's what it means um then yeah i would because i like vlogs and if you watch my videos, then I was just previously talking about getting away from mukbangs and stuff. Because I don't, I'm not in an eating mood. Like, I have to be in the eating spirit, you know. And um, going more towards vlogging and stuff like that. So, yeah, I definitely would. And that's the plan. So, you stick around, then you'll see my vlogs. And that was the end of the questions. Okay, that was fun. And so, I am going to tag some people. Um, I'm going to tag It's Alicia, y'all. Mm, Courtney, um, the Watson Life, uh, the Incredible Scots. Um, who else can I think of on top of my head? And Flavor Eats. I think that was five people. I'm going to tag y'all. And so I'll put them down in the description box. And then um, I'm also going to put Who Tag Me, which is. 100 to life a fat girl's journey and so i'm gonna put her down in the description box too y'all make sure y'all go over and subscribe to all their channels they're pretty cool people and so if you enjoyed this video y'all don't forget to comment you know let me know what you thought if you have more questions for me you want me to do something else like this let me know down in the comments and i'm about to get back to, i only ate one chip i'm about to get back to my lunch because i'm hungry <laughs> okay y'all please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel share this video with as many people as you can and let them know what's going down over here on is life with mommy yana ashley yana hey is life with mommy yana ashley yana church <laughs>